this will take some getting used to. Sony Pictures released the third trailer for Spider-Man Homecoming early Wednesday morning, giving audiences a better idea of just how involved Tony Stark, aka Iron Man, will be in Peter Parker's journey to becoming a superhero in his own right. Sure, Peter helped his mentor in the battle against the Avengers in 2016's Captain America, Civil War, where his abilities and ingenuity rivaled fellow newbie Ant-Man, Paul Rudd. But he's still young, like, might fail his high school Spanish test young, so he's going to need all the guidance he can get. But after all he's seen, Tony is wary of letting him get too involved in the fight against good and evil. Can't you just be a friendly, neighborhood Spider-Man? Tony asks. But Peter knows he's capable of more, if only he's given the chance to prove himself. With an upgraded Spidey suit, courtesy of Mr. Stark, Peter sets off to save the city, one stolen bike at a time. And though there are still plenty of kinks to work out, how, exactly, do his web shooters work question mark he's bound and determined to figure it out. Complicating matters is the untimely arrival of Vulture, Michael Keaton, who has been terrorizing the residents of New York City. The world's changing, boys, he says in the way only a villain can. It's time we change, too. Tom Holland stars as the titular superhero, who Robert Downey Jr. reprises his role as Iron Man. The rest of the cast includes Ty Daly, John Favreau, Donald Glover, Marissa Tomei, and Zendaya. Spider-Man Homecoming, directed by John Watts, swings into movie theaters July 7. Keaton appeared on The Ellen DeGeneres Show Wednesday to promote the film. The Marvel people are amazing. There's all that interconnected lore of Iron Man. I'll tell you, there are so many characters. You have no idea how many characters there are in the Marvel world that we haven't even heard of yet. I'll tell you who I had to call, because I wasn't hip to a lot of people. I've got a very good friend, Mary, and she's got two little girls who are way into this. I think they were, at the time I was making the movie, 9 and 11. I would call them on the phone and I'd go, wait, Reaper Parker, when did he first meet? I actually asked them about, because they knew. That's had all the information, he recalled. That's basically how I formed my character. It was fun, he added. It's really fun, actually. As for Holland, who recently stopped by the talk show, he said, he's extraordinary, that kid. I still kick his little butt in the movie, sort of.